People in Whaley Bridge are being told the emergency services need to spend at least two more days pumping water from the reservoir that's threatening to flood their town. It's been non-stop now for quite some time. Yeah. Hundreds of residents are spending a fifth day out of their homes while that is happening um, because of the partial collapse of the dam wall. Now, our reporter Dave Guest is there for us this morning. Dave, we've been there for a few days. How is, a, how is the story? Bring us up to date. What's happening today? Good morning, uh, Dan and Louise. Well, the story is that these pumps behind me have certainly been doing their job. They needed to get the water level in the reservoir down by 8 metres. The latest news we have is that it's down by 7.8 metres, so very nearly there. In fact, by lunchtime, the fire service are confident they will have reduced the level to where they wanted it to be. That's not the end of the story because then what they have to do is send in engineers to examine the dam wall behind me to assess the full extent of the damage to it before they can say whether or not people can go back into their homes. 1,500 people have spent five nights away from their homes and of course they're desperate to get back. There is a meeting planned for five o'clock tonight when they should get the latest news and maybe get some idea of when they'll be able to return to their homes. Now as we've been reporting about 20 people in Whaley Bridge have steadfastly refused refused police advice to leave, much to the annoyance of the police, and they've stayed there, but the majority of people have heeded their advice and left their homes. But certainly the catastrophe that we thought we were facing at the end of last week has receded as the water level has dropped in the reservoir. They were also helped by the fact that bad weather, which had been expected at the weekend, didn't materialise, and that made the job uh, that much easier. Of course, once they've got the water level down, they then have to decide how they're going to repair this dam and make it safe in the long term. Back to you. Dave, thank you very much for that. So, good news then. Down yeah, but a long term, it's yeah. an issue, isn't it? But well. I suppose in terms of getting that water down, yeah. which has been the, mass, been the major concern. But yeah, as you say, more further sort of long term efforts and, and quite a few sort of engineering considerations mm. to come into that.